Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today I have another easy peasy project, you guys know my favorite kind, that I want to do with this tray that I picked up at Dollar Tree. Um, what are they calling this? It doesn't say. Oh, it's just a charger plate, they're calling it. It's one piece charger plate, and that is the number I like to give you guys in case you're interested. Um, and these are a really heavy duty tray. Now this one's all scratched up because I scratched it up on purpose. <laughs> I took some sandpaper and I just went around it a little bit just to rough it up because I'm going to paint the edges of this. And I want to use this tray in my bedroom and I want to use it with these cute little containers I found at Dollar Tree in where they have all like the little soap dishes and things. And I love these little things. I want to use it for like Q-tips, cotton balls, and stuff like that. And I thought that would look really cute on a nice tray. But I didn't want it silver because that actually just doesn't go with anything that I have. So I'm going to paint the edges of this with some of this folk decor chalk paint. This is the sheepskin color. It's kind of like a real creamy um, white color or a creamy color. And um, then I'm going to use some of this marble um, shelf liner here. Is that what they're calling? They're calling this magic cover. It's like a, um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. But it's not like the regular shelf liners. It has an actual adhesive on here. You peel this off and stick it down. And I thought that was really pretty. So I'm going to make the bottom of this with this um, marble contact paper. That's what I was trying to think of. Um, but first I want to paint this. And then, well, actually I'm not going to do that first. I know. I'm changing my mind here all of a sudden. I need to measure this paper. So I cut a piece that was a little more manageable to work with. Um... And I just put it down in here, actually I put it down in here upside down and kind of measured it where I want it and just went along the edge here with my fingernail and then up here on the other end with my fingernail here and just made a mark. And I'm going to use my little Fisker's cutter here. You could do it with scissors if you want to if you don't have one of these handy dandy little cutters. But um, that's what I'm going to do. And I did cut a straight line with scissors on this before because it has like a wavy edge to it when you get it. So we're just going to cut this and hopefully, hopefully get it just right. And then after I cut that short side down, then I have enough room to put this in here to cut. So let's see how this is going to work out. See if we get it straight. All right, now I get my little cutter up there. Get this nice and flat. There we go. I think that should be good. That looks pretty good. Cut that straight down and then hopefully this will fit in here just nice. So that'll be the bottom. But we're not going to put this in until we're done painting. So we're going to set that aside and um, get this little guy painted up here. And I don't want to get a lot of paint in the bottom here because I'm afraid maybe the contact paper won't stick as well. I'm not sure. But I'm going to put a little bit of this painter's tape down here on the bottom. I do want to get like all the way down in this crease here so I don't see any of the silver when it's done. So I'm just going to go just a little bit before that. Just so you have like a nice little line there of the silver you can still see. But... I don't want to get a lot of the chalk paint on the bottom of this. All right, so I shouldn't have cut my nails. There we go. All right, so I'm going to put that all the way on the edges here. Real simple, easy peasy. I'm actually going to cut it because I'm not having any luck here ripping it. Because I know when I go down in here with my brush and stuff, it's going to get on the bottom and you're not going to be able to help that. So I figured just to put a little bit of this tape. And if you don't have this tape, you can use masking tape or whatever tape you have. It doesn't have to be the painters. I just happen to have this right here in my drawer. Let's get this 
last piece on here real quick and then I can just start painting this little guy. There we go. That's good enough right there. Just so I don't get a lot of paint down there. I mean, if you guys are much neater painter than me, then you don't have to do that. But I know me. <laughs> I can get paint down in there. All right, so I'm going to paint this. And then after this dries, I'll put another coat on. I'm probably going to do two coats of this. And I'm also going to put a little bit of this distressing ink ink on here and I'm hoping I can do that with my little sponge brush. This is the Tim Holtz vintage photo, my favorite kind. And I want to just do the tops of these little like raised dots that go all the way around this thing to give it a little distressed look. I think that'll look pretty. And then if you want to seal this, I'm not going to seal mine because it's just going to be in my dresser, but if you wanted to use this in a bathroom or something after you get it all painted up, you could use some of this dishwasher safe Mod Podge. Um, and just let that dry real good. That way you can wash it off real easy. But I'm just going to have it in my bedroom so I'm, I can just like dust this little thing off. It's not going to be that big a deal. But if you did want to use it in the bathroom, I recommend sealing it. Um, Alright, so I'm not even going to dump this out because we're just going to paint this on here. And I think this is going to look so pretty. And match so much better. I want to get down in between all those little nubs and things. I don't want to get too much on the edge. So what did I do with my paper towel? Let me grab one here. There we go. And I knocked my can of peanuts over. That way if I get too much down here on the edges, I really don't want much on the edge. I'm going to leave the, the bottom of it black because I think that'll look nice too. So I'm just going to go around this edge here twice, and then when that gets good and dry, we can put in our little marble contact paper, and I think that's going to look really sharp with our little things on it. Yeah, you got to kind of go all different directions to get in those little nubs. But I like using chalk paint on this because acrylic paint obviously will not stick as well on these shiny plastic or you know if you want to block this off and spray paint it you could do that too if you wanted to like you know put paper in here or something and completely tape it off but that would be the easiest way it is getting spray paint weather again I love to take things out and spray paint it's so quick and easy to get things done but I want it I don't have anything this color in a spray paint anyway so we're going to have to paint it by hand. All right, so that is the color that this is going to be when we get done here. Well, it's going to look much better with the second coat on there. And then after that gets dry, then I will come back and show you how I'm going to finish up the rest of this. Okay, I got my two coats on here. I even put a little bit of the distressing ink on. I did decide, though, with the second coat that I put on with the chalk paint, I actually used a sponge brush because I really wasn't crazy about how the excuse me how the brush strokes were looking on here I didn't like it at all so all I did was just dip this in paint and I just tap it on don't even rub it I just tap it it gives it that like a little bit of a texture to it and no brush strokes so that is one thing I did change I just was not liking the way it looked now I did go around on some of these you can see where they're nice and browned up a little bit there um, Oops. I just took the distressing ink and one of these little sponge brushes, you can get these at Dollar Tree, just tap it in there and just lightly and carefully go over. I don't care if I get it on the edge, I have it on the edge all over. It was impossible not to, but I think it looks pretty nice. And just lightly go over those little dots and that's it, you're done. But that really just brings them out and it makes it look really pretty. So now we have to put in our contact paper. Now, the hardest part for me is getting the backing off of these things. <laughs> so let's see if it's going to work out nicely for me without ruining it. Uh, okay, it's easy. I know, you just bend the end over and it's supposed to pop right up. So there we go. I actually... Oh, sorry, I'm not even in the camera. I did actually bend the corner a little bit. But I'm going to take this all the way off here. 
and try my best to get this in here on I'm going to stand up to do this on the first try let's see how we do whoops don't stick yet luckily you can move this uh, remove it and you know put it down again it doesn't stick like permanently or anything but I really just want to try and get it on the first time that would be really cool but I'm not gonna because it's not working for me all right we're almost got it if I could just get that end let's try one end here at a time it probably shouldn't take all the backing off of it but you know I thought I would uh, do it real easy all right now let's see if we got it straight this time white I'm not pushing it down all the way because I just don't have it over to this edge quite right yet that's gonna have to come up just a tiny bit more we'll get it I promise no trying to get even with these edges here that I you know tried to get painted down in here so you don't see I may have to go in here and touch up some of this because it's just not quite covering at all but there we go that looks pretty good right there and now you can take a little scraper or whatever you have to get your bubbles out I just usually use my fingers whoops I am like way off camera here <laughs> I can't see in my little lens there when I'm or my uh, little screen when I stand up all right, so I just got to work some of these bubbles out of here. Where is my little thing that I used to have right here in front of me? Oh, here. Just one of these little scrapers. I think this one's from Dollar Tree, this little plastic scraper thing. And that should work our bubbles right out of there. Yep, that'll do it. There we go. That looks better. See, this side seems to be over a little too far. But you know what? I'm just going to go in there and touch up that paint where I can still see a tiny bit of silver. And we're going to make do here. Get that down in this side. Work our bubbles out. I like the nice big bubbles. They're fun to get out. Here goes a nice big bubble. Out you go. <laughs> That's looking really nice though. Look how pretty that looks. It looks expensive. Well, it'll look more expensive once I get the rest of those bubbles out. But I will work them out after here. I almost got them all. I think there's only like two more down here. There, that one's gone. And let's work this little bubble out here. There we go and now we have our nice little marble tray I think that looks really really pretty I love this so what I want to use on this I need to go I'll set this up nice and take a nice picture here at the end because I'm gonna use like I said I'm gonna use these two little containers here I thought would look pretty and oh, I don't even have the tape off of that one yet I'll fill those up and I'm also gonna add one of my little um, mason jar vases here with these pretty flowers that we did last week and I'm going to add that to this and I think that will be lovely. You could put a little candle on here or something would look really cute but I will fill these up with stuff so you can uh, kind of see but I think that's going to look so so pretty. So much nicer than the little square box thing I have my stuff in right now. But anyway, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Like I said, I'll take a nice picture. I'll put it at the end of this video. And I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everyone.